Hey guys, it's Anna and welcome to my channel. Today, today is the day I thrive. You already know this if you've been a subscriber for a while. It's the fall fragrance videos that get me going. This is my season, this is my moment. In fact, I have so many recommendations to share with you that I literally have to split this into two separate videos, which I also had to do last year. So if you want literally even more, like trust me, I have them for you. Just go back in my channel. I have a playlist for like best of season. Uh, I got a couple other fall videos already out. So today's video is going to be focused on niche and luxury designer fall fragrances. Next video will be designer and more affordable niche fall fragrances. So without any further ado, let us get started. I would like to begin with Alexandra J Oriental Enigma. I bought this during summer, so I cannot wait to like fully dive in and like wear the heck out of this fragrance because this to me is like the epitome of fall. It is giving all the vibes. It is warm, gourmand, boozy, a little spicy, like all those things that just encapsulate, encapsulate um, the season. Encapsulate. Encapsulate. All of the things that just encapsulate the season. And this has also got to be one of the most breathtaking bottles that I have in my collection. Even when I go through this, like this is something I'm absolutely going to be keeping just for decor. And you know, it's just an added plus. When the bottle looks good, it's a feeling, you know? It's all tied into the experience. Number one, obviously the fragrance needs to smell freaking good. But when you have a beautiful bottle, beautiful presentation, you just feel good putting it on. This I would describe as unisex leaning feminine. This is something that you can wear every single day in the fall. It's something you can wear for like those cozy occasions, date night. It has a cozy, yummy, but sophisticated feel to it. This has this warm, almost like gooey kind of texture from the combo of the dates and the tonka bean. And what I appreciate is that the dates aren't like fully dating. I find that often dates and fragrances just take over everything. Like they're very heavy, thick, but this is just blended to perfection in my opinion. And nothing feels like it's too much. Doesn't feel like anything's competing in here. Same thing with the hazelnut, you know, I'm not a nutty kind of gal. Well, some might say otherwise. I'd like to say funny. Regardless, in my fragrances, I don't really enjoy a prominent nutty quality. The hazelnut is lovely in here. It's not too much, but it's just the right amount to just make this have like a warm, toasty kind of experience. This has a very smooth rum note. It's very alluring and adds a bit of like a sexy, sophisticated character to the scent. Just a little hair of an exotic spice from the saffron. That note is pretty quiet. And then an interesting addition of hibiscus, just bringing in like a little bit of a brightness. And I also find that hibiscus in general does have a little bit of like a fruity undertone. So that pairs nicely with the dates. Performance wise, about six hours with a moderate projection. If you are looking for a clean girl scent for the fall, you're not really wanting to dive into the the spice, the woody, the booze, what have you. Give Rania J Musk Most Juice a try. This is such a beautiful, powdery, creamy, clean musk, sandalwood, vanilla, black currant fragrance. Amped up black currant and vanilla while still retaining those qualities of like the clean chic girl has an element of like a super high end, like luxury, shampoo kind of vibe and you are going to get more of that clean musky powdery experience as like a fresh juice. The iris of course brings in that powdery factor and also like an elevated sophisticated kind of feel and as this fragrance ages that's where like those sweet notes amp up. You get this syrup like black currant compote kind of feel and then a super creamy sugared vanilla. It's a gorgeous pairing. The sandalwood in here is very creamy, smooth. This is just beautiful when I want a 
clean, no fuss kind of scent, but it's still going to give me character. It has a cozy feel to it, and this kind of profile actually does really well in this cooler weather. And currently I get about like six hours of the moderate projection, but as this ages, performance gets better because I have tested out like an aged batch. Oh, and really quick, I almost forgot. I'm so excited. Uh, they actually reached out to me and they wanted to give me a discount code. So if you want 10% off on the Rania J website, you can use on attend for 10% off and it is an affiliate code. Should you want to use it, I always appreciate your guys' support. For something nice and powerful, I would recommend Nishane Ani. This is just like one of the first fragrances that comes to mind when I think of the warm, spicy, ambery, vanilla category. This is just that to a T and it does it so well. I have tried so many fragrances, of course, that fall into this category, but this is definitely up there for me. This just overall smells powerful. It smells like a boss. It smells wealthy, cool, edgy, perfectly unisex like anyone anyone could rock the hell out of this this is also a huge compliment getter for me like every time i'm wearing this someone is like girl you smell good and this baby has a trail so much so that sometimes people will be complimenting the wrong person telling someone right behind me that they smell good and i'm like don't be taking credit for this best belief she cuts through the cold this is a beautiful warm ambery vanilla fragrance with a lot of spicy notes that cardamom and ginger really come through and in the opening that's where you get this fresh citrus burst from the bergamot pink pepper ginger so when testing this let it dry down get the full experience because it does settle from those spicy notes a bit as it dries down like it overall keeps the spicy character but that beginning green ginger experience can be kind of a surprise for some people and has a really rich earthy woody base with the sandalwood cedar and patchouli all day wear out of this baby with a strong projection this next one beautiful transitional fragrance this is none other than the stunning sophisticated celine black tie how the bottle looks that's the vibe of the fragrance like so absolutely timeless and polished if you are someone who is wanting like something super loud and like really unique and like doing the most it doesn't fall underneath that category but this is an extremely elegant soft powdery fragrance this is an absolutely beautiful blend of vanilla orris musk and a little bit of cedar mainly vanilla and orris this is a vanilla for people who don't want a sugary vanilla a gourmand vanilla but something that has this elegance to it the orris is so obviously creamy and powdery this is something i can wear to anything this could be a stunning signature scent you can wear this to work wherever it's never going to offend anyone it's just lovely i feel like the person that wears this just has very classy style holds himself to a different standard very well-mannered, eloquent. This kind of fragrance is just never gonna go out of style. And I get about five hours with a more intimate sillage. Okay, this next one, downright sexy. You wanna make an impression? Navitus Ambrosia Imperial. This is by far my favorite from the house. Like I cannot applaud AI the Great more for what she has done here because this is so unique so special this truly smells like nothing i've smelled before do give it a sample because it is unique it is different i have seen samples of this on mercari etsy and the sillage by gb.net this has a gorgeous saffron note which makes it so exotic so intoxicating this like airy addictive sweetness this is a borderline gourmand it has these enticing alluring gourmand elements but this does not smell like food this also has a beautiful like caramelized warm banana note um as a note in fragrances banana like some of you might be like 
you know? The note really intrigues me and there is absolutely potential there. Uh, I don't want to smell like, you know, like a banana Laffy Taffy, like a banana milkshake, like that's not really my vibe. But because of these darker, sexy, exotic notes blended with it, it's perfect. And although I can pick up on the banana, it is not like boom in your face banana. So caramelized banana, boozy rum. There's a light date note, like it's a little bit warm spicy just a bit from the saffron the cinnamon and then i pick up on this kind of like dark caramel note but it's not heavy overall this fragrance it doesn't feel weighed down at all so although for me i feel like it fits the fall season the best this will work practically year round. I love this addition of benzoin. It's, so it's bringing in that ambery warmth, but it's not something as heavy or intense as something like a traditional amber note. And this also has a Divana note, which I can be really particular about, but it works in here. It brings in a bit of a green bitterness, but just gives it this edgy, cool feel. And that does die down, you know, as this sits on your skin. Absolute 10 out of 10 for me. And this is unisex leaning feminine, I would say. I get about six hours with a moderate projection. This next one has absolutely taken the fragrance world by storm. If you have not tried Amouage Guidance yet, girl, what are you doing? It's about time, okay? You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. This is such a special, unique fragrance. The way this is just like absolutely viral, like this creation from Quentin Beach is just gonna go down, you know, in history, I think. You know, everybody seems to be getting something different out of this one. We all have different tastes, different noses, skin, etc. But I will let you know what I get out of guidance. This for me has an extremely creamy profile. Like that is pretty much the first word that comes to mind when I smell this. Ultra creamy sandalwood. It literally smells like you, you know, you put like a milky sandalwood in a blender. It's like this perfect dole whip kind of texture, you know? In the mix, we have this nice, pear puree. I love the opening of this fragrance. This also like dramatically changes as this dies down. In the beginning, I do get a bit of that hazelnut, which I actually like. It's not too much, but it is there. And that pairing with the creamy wood, a little bit of a nutty feel with this like really nice peachy apricot kind of osmanthus, the pear puree, the vanilla, it's just gorgeous. And you know that scene in Ratatouille where Remy is like, tasting the food combo and it all goes black and he sees like fireworks going on in the background. That's how I feel. That's how I feel in the opening of Amouage Guidance. Like I am, I am seeing those fireworks, baby. And I'm being pulled in all these different directions. Different notes are popping. Um, it's a very fun experience for me. As this dries down, that hazelnut fades away and it does keep that overall fruity quality, but that does tone down and then the woodiness and the vanilla really amp up and the vanilla pairs beautifully with the wood. It's so smooth and creamy and it's nothing too sweet either. I wouldn't describe it as like a sugary vanilla. And if you do love this, even better because the performance is beast mode, you know, to like put it lightly. This will last forever and it will project. I'm an oversprayer. It's not something I can do with this. But yes, this definitely gets compliments and reactions out of people. One that is perfectly unisex and so romantic and sexy, like this is the pick. Like if you're someone who likes to set the scene, you know, romantic settings or like a bar setting, like dimly lit, you're going out somewhere like special occasion, that's the vibes that I get from Byredo Vanille Antique. I feel like this is quite underrated and I feel like this name, Vanille Antique, is perfect because it does have this overall kind of like aged, slightly dusty quality, but not in a negative way. 
in this beautifully romantic way, like walking into like an old library with history, like it's just magnificent and there is carvings in the wood, like dark drapery, very much so like dark academia vibes as well. I had someone actually request that video and I was like, that sounds so fun. So I like have that on my list of videos to, to film because that just sounds fun. Vibes of Beauty and the Beast, the giant library, but specifically during the time where, you know, the Belle and the Beast are not the Belle. <laughs> where Belle and the Beast are not close, okay? He's going through his thing, okay? She is frightened by him. He's moody and you know, all that. It's during those like dark beginning stages. You're in this enchanted castle. Like it's just covered in magic. The library in that setting, like that's, that's what I get from Vinny Antique. I haven't even described the notes yet, holy cow. Dark aged syrupy kind of vanilla with a boozy, plum mm, like so sexy and it's the perfect amount of plum i'm very particular with that note i don't want it to overtake a fragrance but when it has that perfect bit of like a alluring sweet darkness it's good that paired with this silky smooth warm amber and woody notes mm, i truly think this is so good and i get all day wear out of this with a moderate projection if you are someone who wants to branch out into niche fragrances you want a good place to start you like gourmand elements but not you know too heavy in that regard i would recommend dris von note soit manike not me holding up another perfume with a nutty note in it after saying what i said but listen it's all about how it's blended and how much I pick up on that note. And that's another thing. Don't always discount trying a specific fragrance just because it has a certain note in there that you don't traditionally love. Because I have so many notes that I'm picky about, you know, but there pretty much always tends to be exceptions to that. There will be surprises thrown in the mix. So if a certain description sounds good to you or you see that a certain fragrance is getting a lot of positive feedback, I say sample it. And this one, looking at the notes, is kind of difficult to understand or picture what this may smell like. First of all, let's look at that silk note. That is a textural quality in this fragrance. So overall, this has an extremely smooth, well-blended, silky feel. When I smell this, I picture a girl wearing a simple yet elegant slip silk dress in Belgium. She's wearing kitten heels and she's stopped by like a little corner cafe. Everyone in town knows about this cafe, but it's like a local thing, not somewhere where like all the tourists go. This street is lined with cobblestones and she sat here having a very light, delicate cake, like an angel's food cake. So it's not like so gourmand or sweet or vanilla. And there's this black currant drizzle that comes, you know, nearby from the farmer's market. They grow everything locally and has just a little dusting of chestnut shavings and white chocolate curls. That's overall the kind of experience I get from this. It's very much so giving pretty girl. It's not trying too much. It's just generally very likable, very smooth. I just feel effortless and pretty when I wear something like this. And I get about six hours with moderate projection. Next up, Ex Nihilo, The Irreverence. This is so underrated and so addictive. If you love caramel and vanilla, this is one of the best caramel vanillas you can get your nose on. This is such a high quality, well-crafted gourmand. It starts out, of course, with those gourmand qualities, but also with a burst of pink pepper, bringing in like a sexy, spicy kick, as well as the saffron bringing in, you know, as I always say, that exotic tone. And that absolutely brings in that intrigue to this fragrance. As this warms up on your skin, it does get warmer, it gets sweeter, and then it becomes more focused on this smooth, deep caramel, vanilla, and tonka bean. This isn't a super complex fragrance, but so addictive, so sexy. If you love these kind of notes, 
I, you know, I don't think this is gonna disappoint. And this lasts me all day with a moderate projection. Also, if you're into layering, this is a beautiful layering fragrance as well because this will go with so many different profiles. And then the last one for today is Louboutin Luby Rouge. If you love Celine Black Tie, there's a real good chance that you're gonna love this as well and vice versa. They both give me similar vibes, like the picture that comes to mind, the kind of person that would wear these fragrances. In my opinion, the fragrance inside this bottle like does not match. Like this is doing the absolute most. This is very classy and such a beautiful cardamom fragrance. You're getting that fresh spicy tone from that note as well as an incredibly elegant sophisticated powdery iris and a soft vanilla this is not a sugary vanilla nothing gourmand um, but just bringing in that slight bit of like a natural soft sweetness just to round out and smooth over these notes I feel so beautiful classy when I wear this perfume this would make an incredible signature scent as well this is a perfume that I will reach for when I'm not sure what I'm in the mood for like nothing specific I just want something that's gonna suit any occasion that's very likable this is one I will pull for and I will say when testing this make sure you give it a full wear test because this to me gets more addictive as it dries down and the first time that I wore this, this was softer and more simple than I had imagined it to be because it does get a lot of hype. As I let it sit, I began to fall in love with it more and appreciate its elegance and simplicity and the way that this like powdery soft vanilla would creep in, it's beautiful. And it gives me vibes of Wendy from Peter Pan. And I get about five hours with a more intimate sillage. So that wraps up my list for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. If you want to see me in any more videos, I'd appreciate it so, so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!